Hello and welcome to another Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church and we're continuing our study of the book of Matthew. We're in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5 starting with verse 27. Jesus says, You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not commit adultery. Certainly true. You know, he's saying it's in the, it's in the Bible. It's in the Old Testament. Verse 28. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. I point out in previous lessons, God is interested in your heart. And uh, think about that statement. To look at a woman to lust for her. A rhetorical question, have you ever done that? Or if we ladies out there, have you ever looked at a man to lust after him? What Jesus is saying, it's not me. Jesus is saying not to do that. He's saying you've, you're, you've sinned in your heart already. You know... Uh, Pornography has become a big problem in society and in the church. It's a very sad fact that hotel chains, hotels, big hotels, they know that when there's a pastor's conference in their area, they're going to sell a lot of, of porn on their cable. It is sad. It's terrible. The trap that, that people fall into. It does not please God. God doesn't want us to do that. Read verse 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Sounds serious to me. Makes me think of a... Uh, Sunday school song, be careful little eyes what you see, or be careful little hands what you do, be careful little feet where you go. There's a father up above and he's looking down in love, so be careful little eyes what you see. God takes it seriously. Jesus himself said this, I'm not making it up. So if Jesus takes it seriously. I need to take it seriously. I need to make sure that my eyes are not checking out girls to lust after them, committing adultery in my heart or fornication. In my case, I'm not married. Because um, it's not your eye and it's not your hand that causes you to sin at your heart. What he's saying is we need to we need to kill the sin inside us. More kill the sin inside us. I'm not saying it's I'm not acting like it's an uncommon thing. I'm not acting like like this kind of temptation doesn't af only affects a few people. It affects tons and tons and tons, thousands, maybe millions. But we need to stop it. We need to stop falling for lust. He goes on in verse 31. Furthermore, it has been said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. 
Yeah, this is a touchy subject. I'm not married. I have never been married. I'm just telling you what Jesus had to say on this topic. Verse 32. But I say to you that whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. That's what Jesus said. And not being married, I'm not going to add any commentary to it. Because I think the words of Jesus are a lot more powerful than my words. Just think about what the Lord has said. Just think about what Jesus taught. Simply in the Sermon on the Mount, just in these few verses we've which we've covered here today, we really could fall short of the glory of God, of this holiness, and we need to, uh, with God's help, straighten our lives. Hmm. Sometimes I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. This, uh, maybe that's not the right word. When the word of God cuts to, cuts to the heart, Maybe you shouldn't enjoy it, but I hope that you've heard what God is saying through the scripture to you, and I hope you apply it to your life. Until next time, God bless.